Hey YouTubians, it's Tony here from We Try Anything. Channel likes to try anything, so you don't have to. In today's video, what we're going to do is show you how to use the Casio AW90H, which has a module number of 5156. So what we're going to do is just show you how to use the various functions that this watch has, and just to help, hopefully help you understand your watch a little bit more better. So the first thing to make you understand is that the actual dial. Now the dial is composed of two main elements with that being the analog hands and the digital window that we've got going on here. Now these are controlled or amended by pressing either of these pushes going on here. So what you have is the mode pusher. Now that will allow you to go through the modes, which is this one being timekeeping, that one being the calendar mode, alarm mode, dual time mode and then finally the stopwatch mode. This button here will allow you to adjust the elements of the modes that you're in and then finally this button here will allow you to adjust the analog part the watch and allowing you to move the hands within the analog part of the Casio AW90H. The first thing what we're going to do is allow you to amend the digital and analog part of the time displayed on the watch. So first of all, make sure that you are in the timekeeping mode, which is indicated just by the time. Uh, there's no other DT, AL or ST mentioned around the actual dis display of the liquid crystal going on here. So to amend the time on the digital part of the watch, what you do, you press the adjust button here. Keep your thumb down on it or finger. And what you'll notice is that the actual seconds will be flashing. So if you wait till after 30 seconds, what you'll notice is if I was to reset the seconds, which you can do, it advances the minutes by one. Now, if I reset the seconds again, which are under 30 seconds, it just zeros the seconds and doesn't affect the minutes part of the display. To amend the hours, all you do is press the adjust button again, and that puts you onto the hours. So let's say it's 5.21 in the afternoon. So if I move it ahead, two hours it's 521 now with this being in the 12 hour format if you are in the afternoon you will see the letter p if you're in the morning there'll be no indication of p now if you are in the 24 hour format it will be as opposed to it being five it will be 17 if it's in the afternoon and obviously if it was five in the morning it'll just be zero five hundred hours to move it on to the minutes you press the adjust button again and then if you want to say, let's say it's 5.30. So let's go flying past it. And if you keep your finger on the mode button, it will advance the minutes quicker than normal. And if you just press it once or just, you know, just sporadically like this, it'll advance it by one. And there you go, you got 5.30 p.m. Now, as I say, if you want to adjust it to 12 or 24 hours, press the adjust button again. And you'll notice it says we're currently in the 12 hour format press mode to put it in 24 hours and if you want it in 24 hours constantly that's it just press the adjust button it'll take you back to the screen if you want to go back to the 12 hours just in case you don't like the reading being in 24 hours keep your finger on the adjust button wait for the beep and the flashing and then just forward the adjustable parts until you get to the 24 hour and then just press mode again and then get you back into 12 hour by just ending the adjustment of the timekeeping mode by pressing the adjust button and as you can see, it is now at 5.30 p.m. So the next thing we're going to show you is how to amend the hands to get it to that time. To amend the actual analog part of the watch or the hands on the watch, you use the what is the flush pusher going on here, which is indicated by hand setting. Now what I'm going to use, I'm going to use a pen because if I was to use my nails, even though it would work, and you can probably try that, I'm using a pen because it's a lot more comfortable than using your fingernails. And believe me, I've tried. So to advance it a little bit, all you do is just press it down a little and it will advance it by about half a minute. As you can see there, you can see the hand moving by half a minute every time I press. Now if you want to keep, if you want the hand to sweep around the dial so it's quicker and it'll get to that half five time or 531, just keep your pen or nail or whatever implement you're using, push down on that pusher going on here and you'll notice that it will advance a lot quicker than the half a, half a minute advanced that I've shown you earlier. Now what I'm going to do is quickly speed up the video just to get you to that half five time on the analog part of the watch. Right we're just going to advance it a little bit so just keep just press it down every so often just 
once at a time and then what I'll allow that to do is the minute hand to just to sweep round slower than normal just so you can be a little bit more advanced with the time now unfortunately the time the analog and digital don't marry up with each other which is a real shame but that's the way Casio has done it on this watch and if you just manage to time it so it goes to 5.33 and it's as easy as that. So the next mode I'm going to show you is how to amend the calendar mode. So calendar mode, if you press mode once, it will take you to what's known as calendar mode. Now to adjust the calendar mode, you press the adjust button down the bottom left hand corner and you'll notice like i would shown you in timekeeping mode that the actual element or one of the values will start flashing. Now on the left is the month that the, the 16 refers to the date within the month and on the right is the day so let's say uh, let's pop it go through the actual months till we go back to may so so you got may and if you press mode it'll advance it by one june july august september october november december january february march april may and then if you want to amend the actual date within the month you press the adjust button once and then obviously you can adjust it by keeping your finger on the mode button here let's get back to the 16th Let's press it a few times to get to the 16th and then finally you press the adjust button again for the day within the week so monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday let's get back to sunday and then monday which is what we're on at the minute and then you press the adjust button down the bottom left hand corner just to finish off amending the calendar mode and there you go you can have your watch showing the analog time as well as a calendar which is very handy the next mode we're going to show you how to use is alarm mode so if you press the mode button again and that'll take you to alarm mode now just to be aware that the alarm mode is indicated by the letters AL which stand for alarm so to adjust the alarm you press the adjust button here like you do with time and like you do with the date and then you can adjust the actual hours by just pressing the mode button at the top left hand corner so as you see there's a little p indicating in the afternoon so if we go back to the morning which is say let's do half seven in the morning so back to seven six seven and then press the adjust button now in this instance it'll allow you to adjust the actual tens of minutes as opposed to just a whole minute value so if i press the mode button so let's say 20 and then 30 and then just the actual minutes part or the what would be under the tens of minutes you just go to press that and then the top left hand corner which is the mode and that will take it to the zero and then if you press it again what this will allow you to do is to activate the alarm and the alias signal now the two icons here as you can see the alarm mode is the top one which is indicated by just these little bars here and the bottom one is indicated by the bell which is the hourly signal which means the watch will beep on the hour every hour so if you want the actual alarm to be activated or if you want the alarm and hourly signal off you press the mode button if you want the alarm just the daily alarm to be activated while it's flashing you just press that and you'll see the icon for the daily alarm if you want just the hourly signal to be indicated or activated you'll see the bell icon flashing for both of them you press the mode button again and you'll see both of them flashing and if you want them both off again you just press the mode button and then that's it so just press the adjust button to come out of the alarm mode as such or the adjusting them alarm mode and then there you are the actual time is set for half seven in the morning but there's no activation of the alarm so you just got to go through that little process to activate it or amend the actual alarm time that you want the actual alarm or you want the alarm to go off the next mode is dual time now dual time what that allows you to do is to set up a separate time if you are dealing with people around the world so obviously around the world you can have different time zones and stuff like that now in this instance i've set it up for 2 35 pm now what you can do is just like you do with the timekeeping mode if you want to adjust it say the hours if you want it three hours ahead or four hours ahead let's press the adjust button what you'll notice is the hours within dual time is flashing so if we say we'll go to 7 30 or let's do say 10 so five hours ahead so it's 10 35 pm and then again you press the adjust button and then you can advance the minutes as such and then press the adjust button if you want 12 or 24 hours because it will feature the dual time within 12 or 24 hours and then just press it one more time the adjust button to come out of amending the dual time mode the final mode on this watch on the casio aw90h is stopwatch and it is indicated by the little st just going on there and the stopwatch is very simple to use it's only got one function which is start and stop so to start the stopwatch 
you press that and that'll allow the actual elapsed time to be measured or it'll it'll be measuring the elapsed time and if you wanted to stop so you finished measuring the elapsed time it is now say nine nine seconds and forty hundredth of a second and if you want to clear the stopwatch keep your finger on the adjust button or your thumb and then that's it and it's as easy as that there's no split times or anything like that it is literally just start and stop which as i've just shown you there by pressing the adjust button adjust button to stop it and then adjust button to clear it and that's it it's as easy as that and that's it for the AW90H. It is, it is a very simple watch to operate. And if there isn't anything you're sure of, I have linked to the actual instructions via the Casio website below. And if you want to find out more about the actual watch, we have done a review, which I'll link to at the top left-hand corner and in the description box below. But it's pretty much the same as this, just that I do talk about the actual materials and also go on about what it's like on the wrist. And also, if you are interested in purchasing this watch, I have linked to an Amazon link below. So thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope it's helped. If you want to see more tutorials from the We Try Anything channel or product reviews or maybe watch reviews, then click on the subscription button below. And if you like the video, then give it a cheeky like. And thank you for watching this tutorial. We look forward to seeing you next time. Goodbye.